What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. Look what your boy is bringing you guys. We are rocking out with an Empoleon team that also features Soul Dew Latios alongside with Technician Breloom. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community so you do not miss out on any of my content. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Empoleon. Everybody's or one of everybody's favorite starters of the Sinnoh region because Sinnoh has such cool starters. It really does. We're rocking the Shukaberry as a single item. And then we got the wonderful moveset of Ice Beam, Protect, Hydro Pump, and Flash Cannon. This one is actually a special attacking build and it is not the defiant uh, physical attack. Attacking build because you know i just like a special attacking moves a lot better we got ice beam for nice little coverage we got protect the hydro pump does big damage and then flash can just a solid steel coverage move it really is because like the only physical attacking steel move that empoleon really learns is steel wing and it's really not that good it is really not that good compared to flash can so that's why i went to the special attack build second pokemon on the squad is going to be latios over here and latios is phenomenal really really good all around really great special attacker and really good at speed control in the battle we got the soul do item for it you know it's item to give a boost in his psychic moves and his dragon moves. That item actually only works for Latios or Latias, so it is a really good item for him. We got Psychic, we got Tailwind for Speed Control, Dragon Pulse for Stab, and last but not least, we're rocking Protect. Third Pokemon on the squad is a huge physical attacker on our team. One of the best Pokemon for, you know, BDSP double battles, it's Scissor over here. We got the X Scissor ability, along or not X Scissor ability, X Scissor Stab move, alongside Bullet Punch for first turn priority and Stab. Plus, with that Technician boost, it just does crazy damage. We got Swords Dance setup, and last but not least, we're Rocket Protect. And obviously, you know, items gotta be that light for Make this thing do as much damage as it possibly can. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be our lovely little Super Lux Scope Punch Togus over here. Nice little support mon, yet it can hit hard at the same time. It's rocking a fairly normal moveset that never goes wrong. Follow me, Protect, Dazzling Leapers. Seriously. What better moveset for Togekiss is there? There is none. There is no better moveset for this Pokemon. Fifth Pokemon on squad is one of the best support mods in the game, in my opinion. I absolutely love this Arcanine build. We got Intimidate Arcanine over here with the Iguaberry as an item and then one of the best movesets ever. We got Flamethrower for stab damage, Snarl for uh, special attack drops, will o for burns on physical attackers, and Protect. Seriously, no Pokemon is getting around the same. It's just going to drop your special attack like crazy or drop your physical attack like crazy. It's beautiful. I love this Pokemon so much. I always do so, so well using it on the rank ladder. But uh, final Pokemon on squad is going to be one of my favorites to use. It's going to be this Technician Breedloom over here. We got Spore. We got Mach Punch. We got Bullet Seed. And then we got Protect. Great moveset for any Technician Breedloom. And then last but not least, it's item. It's got to be. Wait a minute. I keep switching through Pokemon. It's item's got to be, you know, the Focus Ash right there. We're rocking the Focus Ash on this Pokemon. That works so perfectly. But there's the team, guys. Let's get after it. Let's go into the Coliseum and keep our hot streak rolling. Loading up our first battle for today's video. Let's get rolling here. We just locked in our wonderful Empoleon team. So let's see who our opponent is rocking out with. They got a pretty cool team over here. The Rocket Charizard, Aerodactyl, uh, Torkoal to set the Drought to pair up with the Charizard. And then it has the Raikou, who's super, super strong, Glade, and Mamoswine. So a uh, really decent team. Really cool team as well. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like he's going to lead the Raikou probably, right? It's either going to be Raikou or like somebody like... The Torkoal combo. So I think Latios is really good for speed control. It can do big damage all around. So I am going to lead the Latios here. Latios is definitely coming in for first turn. Next Pokemon first turn. I could also bring that Breloom. Or I could bring Scissor. Breloom or Scissor really, really works well. So I really do like that. I definitely want to bring Empoleon in the back end somewhere. But I just don't know where. But I just don't know the other Pokemon I want to bring. So we're going to definitely lead the Latios. Um, trying to look at his team a little bit more. Arcanine's not a bad lead here. I kind of like Arcanine. I really do like Arcanine for a lot of different situations here. We can burn, we can snarl. I really do like it. So Arcanine's going to come in here. We're going to Latios, Arcanine, and then we're going to bring Empoleon. So, you know, I just want Empoleon here. And then last but not least, uh, Scizor or Breloom? I'll kind of lean more towards Scizor here. We have all special attackers, so we're going to need a big physical attacker, which is going to be Scizor. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. I think our last BDSP video, we went one and two. And we haven't did that in a while. So hopefully, you know, we can bounce back, get ourselves a nice little winning record or even a perfect record. Even a perfect record would be awesome. Definitely would be awesome. We've been getting some perfect records in our Sword and Shield battle. So if you guys haven't been checking out my Sword and Shield content, definitely go check that out. We've been rolling out so strong. We've been getting so good. We've been getting so good. We're high up in the match tier. I think we're top like 1500. Close around there, which is really, really high for me. But he's gonna end up leading the Mammoth Swine alongside with the Torkoal, which I'm definitely cool with. Um, I can just start snarling up onto these Pokemon. Snarl, snarl, snarl. We have Intimidate, Oblivious is gonna poke through it. I could burn the bomb or the uh, uh, what's it called? I could definitely burn that Mammoth Swine. 
Or I could double down into it. Uh, let's see what I want to do here. Let's set up the Tailwind. I could go into like a uh, a Dragon Pulse or a Psychic, which I think I'm going to do. They know we outspeed. If he wants to go for an Ice Crash and take me out, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for a nice little Psychic here. Or should I go Dragon Pulse? No, Psychic's a little bit better. We're dropping a nice little Psychic uh, here. And then we're just going to go for a... Uh, I think we're just going to Flamethrower down onto this thing. If he wants to go for Ice Shard or Ice Circle Crash, I'm cool with that. Latios can definitely eat up an Ice Shard. He withdraws that. That's cool with that i'm cool with that so hard swap into who you hard swap into. he's gonna go into charizard here, which i'm cool with and this thing she's gonna drop a beautiful eq and uh that's fine i think my boy should be able to eat up right arcanine should be able to eat up pretty bulky yeah arcanine eats eat that up all day which is just beautiful it's just beautiful and i'm surprised that thing actually outspent me that thing is quick you gotta be choice scarf right definitely gotta be choice scarf but guap berry's gonna poke through here uh what do we do from here Sex's gonna fly and Flamethrower is going to probably bring that thing down to stash. A big old Psychic. Look at that Psychic. That damage is ridiculous. Flamethrower is poking through it. That's beautiful. And we'll go from here. So there it is. Mag yes, sir. No Sash on him. No Sash on him. We love that. We love the no Sash on him. Solar Power is going to take some damage. Oh, dude. That, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So bad swap by him. Bad, bad swap by him. I'm surprised he swapped like that. I am surprised. Yeah, we take that all day. No Sash on the Mammoth Sign. Because it was probably Choice Scarf. It had to have been Choice Scarf, right? It's to outspeed my Latios like that. It's definitely Choice Scarf. So we get to dump on that thing easily, instantly. That is beautiful. He's going to go into Glade here. And I think at this point, Charizard might protect. Charizard might protect. And you know what? I'm just going to go into this. And I'm just going to burn over onto this thing. That's going to be my play because I think Charizard might protect here. Knowing my Latios outspeeds him. But then he knows Solar Power might take him out. But I'm just going to set up this Tailwind. I don't like to get this burn off. I'm cool with one of my Pokemon go goes down because setting up this Tailwind is just a beautiful thing for us. Especially up against Pokemon like Gallade and Charizard. Two very fast Pokemon that can hit hard on the physical and special attack inside. So we'll set up the Tailwind. We'll hope that maybe one of them is protecting more so the Charizard. That's kind of what I'm reading here. But we'll see. He's going to withdraw. He withdraws Charizard. That's beautiful for us. That's beautiful for us. That is beautiful for us. He's going to go back into Torkoal. That's fine by me. We're going to set up a Tailwind. Beautiful turn by us. So instead of protecting, he swaps out. That's great for us. Tailwind's going to poke, and then we're just going to Will-O-Wisp over onto this Kalei. So that's pretty much GG's. Jeans is starting off strong here today. Look at that. Burning up on this big old Kalei. Unless he's Lumberry. He's not. Get him out of my face. Knockoff's coming in here. That probably would have taken us out. That would have been cutting it close. But, you know, he knocks off my Soul Doom, and he's burned. The so burn was definitely coming up close. This is pretty much a lock of a battle for us. We're just outplaying our opponent at this point. Okay, so from here, we'll just drop a big old Psychic. Um, I think we might double down into this, uh... Nah, we'll just drop a Snarl and a Psychic. That's my play all day. Snarl and Psychic. It's looking good. Just cancel the battle, dude. Just cancel the battle. It's over with. Jeans just steamrolled you, man. I steamrolled him. Psychic's flying through it. Uh... Big old, big old damage. That's a big old damage. And Snarl's gonna poke. We're not gonna have to bring out our Empoleon, are we? No, sir. No, sir. Did we even lose a Pokemon? I really want to bring out my Pokemon. We didn't. We didn't lose a Pokemon because I still have Scissor in the back. Please take out one of my Pokemon. Take him out. Ah, oh, dang. I want my Empoleon out here. I want my Empoleon out here. <laughs> I want my Empoleon to get some work done. Toko's going to go next, and he's going to go for that eruption, which we're just going to eat up because, you know, we just did a bunch of damage to him. And, dude, I really want to get my Empoleon out here, but that's GG's. That is GG's. Now we're just looking for sweep. Can we clean sweep this? I think we can. Actually, it's going to be kind of close. I'll have to go for the Psychic here. Finish you off. And just drop a big old... I think Flamethrower will probably do more damage than the Snarl, right? Even though it's not very effective. We have, this, we have the Sun out here. But he just canceled the battle. Clean sweep for battle number one. Let's hop into our second. Look to showcase Empoleon a little bit. Second battle's looking a little tough. We're going up against a powerhouse of a team with Latias, Intimidate Gyarados, Togekiss, Hariyama for Fake Out, and, you know, Guts Hariyama does big damage. Then he's got Magnusone, and last, last but not least, he's rocking that Gardevoir. That makes me want to bring in Empoleon and Scissor. Two fairy types, we gotta be rocking out with them. We definitely gotta be rocking out with them. So I'm with it all day. Uh, who should I lead, though? I feel like Speed Control could definitely be a great option for us, so Latios is great. I feel like Latios... I feel like we go same squad, right? I'm leaning towards same squad here. I really am, because Intimidate's huge. Um, I might go Hariyama for a fake out. That's definitely an option. Or we could just go Breloom here instead of Arc. Which I kind of like. And then Empoleon Scissor in the back end. I'm kind of digging that. I am kind of digging that. We have the ice coverage moves. We're thriving with that. Two Steel Pokemon doesn't really have much to take out our Steel types. We resist a lot of these guys. Besides that, Hariyama can do some work on my Empoleon. But other than that, we're fine. I think we are fine. 
Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We have Latios to actually just counter up on the Nahariyama. So I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. I, I kind of would rather have Arcanine, but like, you know, I, I use Arcanine so much. <laughs> I want to use I want to use something else. He goes into Breloom. Well, not Breloom. He goes into uh, Gardevoir and Hariyama here. So I can actually protect my boy and just put that thing to sleep. I could put Gardevoir to sleep. I'm just going to protect this thing, and I'm just going to go into a spawn. I'm going to try to put this thing to sleep. Hopefully he's not faking out my Breloom. That could be tough news. That could definitely be tough news. We have Focus Ash, so if he wants to go into a Gleam, that's fine. That is fine if he wants to go into a Gleam. He could fake out my Breloom pick up a double, which could definitely do me dirty. Could definitely do me dirty. Let's see what he's going to do here, though. Hopefully he's faking out that Latios. Then we can just sash up. Then we can just sash up. Protect comes out here. Go ahead. Fake out my Latios, please. Fake out. Yes, sir. Big old block. He's probably going for the Gleam, right? Gleam coming out here. Yep, that's in Gleam. Lock that. I have my Focus Ash still. I like what we're saying. Focus Ash comes out here. Let's spore it up. Let's spore it up, Breloom. Do him dirty here. Focus Ash poking. We love it. We love it. We love it. Spore coming in here. Yeah. Night, night, baby. Night, night, baby. Nice little play for us to get this battle started. I like where we're sitting here. I think slump and that thing is going to trigger with the birds. Okay. So we're sitting here. I can go here to a psychic, which could, you know, get off some big damage. And then I can just go into. We went to a bull punch. I could protect. I think bullet or bullet seed is going to be your player. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Get off some big old damage. Then I could just mock punch down, but I do like where we're sitting here. I do like where we're sitting here. I was definitely scared of that Dazzling Bell. Bell's just like if, it, if I can read this fake out, we can be sitting good. That's exactly what we did. We made we did we did a really gambling play right there. We did a really we gambled on that play. We made a nice read there. Protect. Let our focus has trigger. Wow, that was beautiful. Cut this in this battle. He's gonna say he's rocking bullet punch? Bruh. Get out of my face! Get out of my face. I was not expecting that thing to rock bull punch. But still, that's fine. We're going to waste turn for sleep. And I could set up Tailwind next turn. Or I could, I'm just going to bring out Sism. I can bring out Empoleon. Empoleon poses a threat. Psychic throws through here. Built. Get on out of my face. Dump on that. No problem. Um, What do I do here? Did I bring out Empoleon. I think, I think I just bring out Empoleon. Empoleon's fun to use, man. Let's bring out Empoleon. Let's have some fun with this one. We have Flash Cannon ready to roll. I'm with it. I could set up a Tailwind here. Tailwind could come in clutch. But it really depends who he goes into. Because we're going to bank on this guard board, at least sleeping one more turn, you know? We're going to our Empoleon. Obviously, we could have brought out our scissor and just bull punch in that. It could definitely been our play, but he's going to bring out Magnus. So get out of my face. Okay, so from here, you know, we're just going to tailwind. Empoleon goes down, he goes down. Now we're going to tailwind, and we're just going to drop a nice little flash cannon. Nice, lovely little flash cannon. We might hard swap. You could definitely hard swap, but then again, we have scissor in the back end. Magnus. God dang it. That thing is still asleep. That's a beautiful turn for us. Tailwind's gonna come out here first. Uh, we'll take the speed and we'll be able to drop a big old flash cannon right into that guard bar. Right into that guard bar, which should be able to take it out, right? I think this thing goes down to this. Oh my god, it does. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. He's gonna go for a discharge and he has telepathy. Okay, so telepathy is gonna, you know, dodge that move. And hopefully Empoleon can soak this up. I know Latios can. And Empoleon does this as well. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. We love to see that. So from here, uh, should be able to outspeed that now. So Psychic should be able to just, just take you out. And then I could probably just go for a Hydro Pump to you. Just get off as much damage as I possibly can. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I think Latios now outspeeds a Choice Scarf uh, Gardevoir, right? Definitely should be able to outspeed it with the Tailwind. Latios is super fast. That We know that thing's Choice Scarf. It is cooking. It is cooking. One of the best items for Gardevoir is Choice Scarf. Just outspeeds and does a crazy amount of damage. That was a really good discharge from him. Luckily, he didn't get any Paralyzes. We do like that turn. Do like that turn but yeah what a start for us that, that turn was huge the fake out into the, the sleep really won us the game or not even won us the game really kept us in the game we didn't even win the game yet i feel like this one's still gonna be close we still have the scissor in the back who's beautiful he's a beautiful back in pokemon <laughs> i'm surprised employee i wasn't able to take that out but still this is good damage we're still sitting in a solid spot here and as long as we can land like this hydro pump he's gonna withdraw okay which all guard we're dropping a second so who who, 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 who are you going into Oh, okay, okay, I see you. And I was gonna, and I was gonna drop the dragon move, make, maybe make a read, but still, we couldn't, we couldn't have because it had no effect on it. I'm gonna do that. Hydro pump's gonna fly. We still have speed, so dragon pulse can just come out next turn, which is beautiful. Hydro pump comes out here. How much damage are we chipping on this thing? Oh my God, Empoleon doing some huge damage. He's gonna volt switch out, which is totally fine. That's totally fine by me. That was kind of a dumb turn. I'm surprised he didn't take out my Empoleon. Did he misclick there? Did he misclick? Yeah, we take that all day. Or no, he was reading a protect. I think he was reading protect. 
I'm cool with that. Yeah, we have Tailwind. We have Speed. It's GG's. It is GG's. It is GG's, right? I'm here. You know, Seki's just going to poke over on this slot, and we're just going to go for an Ice Beam. Lovely little Ice Beam to drop over onto you. Probably not going to kill it, but still get off some huge damage. We have to take out the Gardevoir here because I think it is going to wake up. So let's just get rid of it here. Later, Gardevoir. Get on out my game. You just got outplayed with Spores and Fake Out leads. Get them on out of here. Polyon's going to go next. We're going to drop an Ice Beam. This thing is rocking the Yachi Berry. The Yachi Berry is out and about for him. I'm not worried about that. Uh, give me the freeze though, but I'm not worried about the the magnet zone due to the fact that we have bull punch in the back end. He's on one HP. He's gonna calm mine set up. It's totally fine. That is totally fine by me. I'm gonna. I might double down in the same. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly. What, unless he's gonna. Do we think he's gonna protect? Could definitely protect. So yeah, doubling down is probably not our play. That's like the only way we lose. So in this case, I'm just gonna go for Dragon Pulse. Probably should be able to do enough damage to take it out, and then we're just going to uh, go into a move that's uh, higher accuracy with Flash Cannon, just take it out this magnet zone. Because he could protect, go for discharge. That could be like his last bet here. So doubling down, definitely not a play. Definitely not a player. Definitely not a play. But yo, Empoleon's doing good. He's doing some work here. Once we got him in this tailwind, he's doing a lot of work all around. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's gonna go into the protect. Oh, protect on magnet zone. Wow. He might be double protecting the waste on tailwind. It's not double protecting. Dragon Pulse gonna come out here. Probably pick up the KO, even though he's plus one. I think he still picks it up, right? Yes, sir. Get on out of here, Latias. Go on. Get him gone. Get him gone. That's beautiful for us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Flash hand's gonna poke. It's gonna get blocked. It's gonna get blocked. And this guy's just gonna cancel. We're not even having to bring out our scissor. We don't even need scissor. That speaks a lot right now. That speaks a lot. Not even needing scissor. Scissor is probably our strongest Pokemon on the team. Maybe besides Latios. And we're not even using it. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that perfect record for you guys. And I'm going to bring it to you guys. Hopefully, I'm going to bring it to you guys. But we're going up against the same opponent that we versed in battle number two. We just got paired up again in the Coliseum. But at least they changed their team, which is really, really cool. So we're going up against a different team. They got Tyranitar, Storm Drain, Gaston, that lovely Gardevoir that we are scared of. And then he's got Drip Bloom, Scyther over here. But I don't think Evo Light is, uh, is in the game. So he's probably not bringing Scyther unless he has a few tricks up his sleeve. And then Mammo Swine. And then Mammo Swine. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? You know what? I might just lead the Scissor here. Scissor is looking real good. It's looking real good. I'm going to end up leading the Scissor alongside with the Arcanine. I just really, really like that. We're going to bring Empoleon. And I don't even think we need that much speed control. I don't think we need that much speed control. I'd say we don't even bring in uh, Tokus. I don't think we need Tokus. I really do not think we need Tokus. I'm going to unlock in the squad. And we're going to look for that perfect record. Looking for the perfect record. Let's get it. We got Scissor out on the field first. Go Gardevoir. Oh my, I love this game. <laughs> Arcanine, it's, yo, it's GG's. It is GG's. Bullet punch with a wisp, game over, right? 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 I think I think that's what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna bullet punch and then will a wisp and they're just gonna, just, we're just gonna get a communication error. I have a weird feeling about it. I have a weird feeling. It's just gonna say communication error. Or it's just gonna withdraw gun of war. Go bullet punch. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're doing that. Things are already intimidated, but I just feel like this is gonna happen. Bullet punch. With a wisp communication error. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Let's see it. Let's see it, yo. Scissor rocking out here. Skizzy, dude. Good old Scissor. Leading the Gardevoir. That's bold. That is bold. Usually when I'm rocking the choice card, Gardevoir, I kind of like to save it in the back end. Sometimes I like to lead it, but most of the time I'm back in this. This guy led it twice. He led it twice. Scissor and Arcanine is looking good. I could have. I probably should have set up a Swords and to protect the swap from the Gardevoir. Honestly, I should have. That probably should have 100% my, been my play, but I, I'm predicting the Bull Punch with a West Communication Error combo coming up here. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Make a move, my dude. Bull Punch. Step one complete. Step one complete. <laughs> Step one is complete. No way, dude. Step one's complete. Will West, come out here. Will o Wisp, get on down here. We need it to land though. Will o Wisp. Step two is complete. Show me step three here. Show me this two quitting. Show me this two quitting. I lose it. I would lose it. Fire Fang comes in here. That's fine. Oh, we eat though. Eat. That's beautiful. And it was a crit. Yo, we ate on the crit. Thank you, Will o Wisp. Well, if it's fine, there are good things. Scissors doesn't take it. Yo, show me the quit. Show me the communication error. Show it to me, yo. Just pop up right on the screen. Just pop up right on the screen. Oh, dude, that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious. 
That would have been hilarious. She's gonna throw out his third Pokemon. It's over with though. We we pretty much have this match on wrap. We have it on wrap. If he throws out another physical attacker, I'm just burning it. If it's if it's special attacker, I'm just gonna start off. I said that from the beginning. I said it from the beginning. Arcanine is definitely one of the best support mines. You can just control the battle super well with burns and snarls all day long. The special attack comes out on field, we're just gonna drop its special attack. Physical attack comes out on field, we're just burning it, dropping its physical attack. It's just it's just a beautiful combo. It's just a beautiful Pokemon right here. Mammoth Tide's gonna come out here. I could burn it, but I'm just gonna bullet punch, I think. Bullet punch. She's probably gonna go for an ice shard now, speaking, but I'm still gonna throw a burn on it. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. I mean, if it doesn't go for Ice Shard, I, it's pretty much dead, right? It protects his C-Tar. Okay. I'm fine with that. He does not go for an Ice Shard. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. Going. Going. Dropped. Going. That's fine. Clean Sweep coming in for battle. Oh, no. We lost our scissor. I was, <laughs> once I say Clean Sweep coming in for battle number three, my scissor goes down to life from damage. I always forget about it. But Lewis going to poke here again. It's getting blocked. It's getting blocked, so now I'm just bringing out Empoleon and have some fun with this one. Empoleon, get on out here. I got an itch on my back, though. Right in the middle of it, though. It's the worst, yo. It's like in one of those spots, it's like... you the, It's so hard to get. It's like you have this much wiggle room to get. It's like almost in that perfect spot where you cannot get it. But we're going <laughs> to throw out Empoleon here. I could obviously go in the Breedloom. Mach Punch would be four times super effective, and we could drop that thing easily. But he's going to go in the Gastro here, which I'm cool with him going to Gastro. Which I wish he would have. Well, I wish we wouldn't have went into Breedloom now. But uh, we're just gonna go into here. Uh, I'm just gonna flash cannon into you, and I'm gonna just start snarling. It's over with. GG Jeans. Jeans is rolling here with Empoleon Squad. Empoleon's such a cool Pokemon, though. How dope he looks. Emperor Penguin with a trident as a mask. It's lovely. It is a lovely little Pokemon. A lovely little Pokemon. But yeah, Flash Cannon's probably going to do about half, maybe a little bit more than half. Gash is going to start chipping up some damage. Hopefully, use Earth Power into my uh, Empoleon. Because, you know, we got that Shukaberry rocket. But I feel like the uh, Gashon definitely has to target down onto my Arcanine. But it's over with anyway. We're just getting special attack jumps all day. I mean, it's just too easy with Arcanine. It is legit too easy. If you guys are looking to, like, win some battles, make this Arcanine build right here. It's Timid Arcanine, fully invested into HP. It, and then his other EVs are split between speed and special defense. And then it just has his moves that rock with the Guava Berry. Last time going to poke that it might be the tastiest snack we ever had before. Look how much my Pokemon just eat that up. All day. Earth Power is going to come through here. And my Shuka Berry, baby. My Shuka Berry coming in hot. Nom, 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 nom. Shuka Berry clutching up. Shuka Berry eating up all day. Boy, gets Buffett. And did we hit him with a Flash Cannon? I don't even recall even seeing that. I think he has leftovers. It's fine, because this guy just canceled battle. Oh, yeah, we did some good damage. She's going to protect that thing anyway. We know he's going to protect them. We know he's going to protect them, but I'm just going to snarl. Go into another flash can, just roll from there. Get it done, baby, all day. All day long. Bump, 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 bump. Perfect record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a perfect record. Yeah. <laughs> What's this guy thinking about? He doesn't protect that sets better for us. He doesn't protect Snarl comes out here. We're dropping that special attack. And Polyon's doing or not Empoleon. Tyrantar's doing nothing. He's he's minus one physical attack and he's burned. Gastron's doing nothing now. It's minus two special attack. It's GG's. Flash Cannon comes out here. Tyrantar, do me a favor. Get on out of my Coliseum. Get him on out of my face. Can this guy just leave? Hopefully he leaves. He's just gonna earth power again. We're probably gonna be able to eat it up. Now he's minus two. Blizzard's coming through. That was stupid. Wait, what did that do? Now I'm swapping. Now, now I'm swapping in. We don't cancel battle. We're just going to have to take you out with a bullet seed. <laughs> We're just going to have to take him out with a bullet seed. All day long. All day long. That's everything coming out here. And does he really think he's going to be able to clutch up? We should swap my Empoleon here. Empoleon, swap into Breedloom, and, you know, we'll just go. You know, we're just going to throw a burn on this thing. Just to neglect the leftovers. Please cancel battle. Just cancel battle. It's over with. You know it's over with. You know it's over with. I swear, dude. <laughs> this guy doesn't cancel battle. I think that this minus two gas shot can clutch up. It's just not happening. There it is. Battle is canceled. Perfect record for you guys. Oh, baby. It feels so good to grab ourselves another perfect record in BDSP. We've just been rolling out in Pokemon Double Battles. We've been getting so much better outplaying our opponents left and right and just making better calls overall. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously. You guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.